Hello, I want to make a quick update about my project. So, right now I uh, finished my work on Reflow uh, screen. So, right now uh, I'm running uh, two layers. Well, the full screen is the uh, first layer, is, and the second uh, layer is the um, is temperature graph. And uh, settings will be uh, done later because uh, well, there's a lot of Lots of things to be, uh, need, lots of things that I need to program. But right now, I just uh, I, I set uh, maximum temperature, maximum time, uh, and uh, uh, on my program. And uh, right now, uh, and uh, when I press start, it, it will gonna follow this uh, this profile. Okay, so now let, let's uh, let's save some time. Okay, when I press start, it will start to follow uh, reflow. Uh, Reflow profile, and right now I, I have uh, 100 degrees preheat and uh, 60 times of preheat time. When I hit uh, 100 degrees and in an average of two thermocouples will, will be 100 degrees, it will uh, jump to it will start a uh, uh, counting time, and when it counts to this uh, one minute, it will jump to a maximum temperature, uh, and it will uh, wait uh, while. Uh, both the thermocouples will reach uh, this temperature and it will uh, then it jump to another loop uh, uh, to wait two seconds and once two seconds is over it's it is maximum temp temperature time it will go to zero degrees so as you can see now um i it, it, it uh, average temperature is is uh, above 100 degrees so it start to follow uh, time so it will calculate in uh, one minute and we'll jump to another uh, set point. Now, because I have very low temperature, uh, I will get uh, a large overshoot because I don't have that, that much uh, runaway, uh, thermal runaway. So, uh, so it it's easy to, it it is very easy to overshoot. But when I have very high temperature, it, it is I have a lot of ter uh, thermal runaway. So I will not overshoot uh, more than uh, I mean three five degrees. So. That will be enough. So uh, I should get. Um, so the ne next set point will be 200 degrees, and it should be. Uh, I, 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 because I don't follow time, I don't know when it's going to change, but it will change well right now. So now it will gonna wait. Uh, uh, average. Uh, uh, it will gonna wait. Uh, when will uh, average temperature of two thermocouples will hit two 200 degrees, and then will wait two seconds, will hold this temperature two seconds and then uh, set set point to zero and reflow process will be over. And of course later I will add a screen that uh, uh, screen some is pop-up screen that it says reflow pro process is over. Uh, what else? So I have also um, uh, animations, well it's small animations. When I press start because uh, it's, it's, it's already started, it, it will not going to do it. It, it will not going to change anything, but if I press stop, if everything will be turned off, set point will be zero, and so on. So now I'm waiting 200 degrees. Um, uh, of course, uh, setting will be, uh, setting screen will be much, much more difficult to make than uh, uh, this reflow screen because I have to deal with um, keyboard and and it's not that easy. Uh, so. Another thing, um, I, I used uh, the temperature gradient uh, mapping. Uh, it is made simply by taking a bitmap with one line, with uh, every uh, with, uh, color spectrum between uh, blue and and. Um, okay, so it it, it hit uh, 200 degrees. Waited two seconds, and now set point is zero. And if I if if I press start, it will start uh, start again. Process it. If I press stop, it will stop this reflow process. So, uh, as I was saying, um, uh, color mapping is done with bitmap. So I take it um, a spectrum from uh, blue to uh, red, and because it, and I take it uh, 400 points, and simply I I uh, get uh, uh, array index is my temperature uh, and the color is is uh, will, will be displayed in the screen so it's very easy and it's quite efficient and of course i can use uh, 
the map to the uh, to get my t temperatures graph. So this graph is uh, done in, in two buffers. One is uh, filling buffer, and the other is for uh, showing uh, buffer. And I'm use, using the map to the peripheral to transfer data between uh, two two uh, two memories. And everything is done. Uh, graph is of course is in SRAM, and temperature of course is is in internal RAM. So thank you for watching this and